More local news coverage here at 6 on Fox 4 News. Keeps up with red tide algae blooms. Those warnings impacting a wide range of southwest Florida. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Earle. And I'm Nadine Yanis. Our network of reporters are looking at those coastal impacts live right now on Fort fox4now.com and from Sanibel Island where Fox 4 confirmed fish kills to further inland Lee County along the Caloosahatchee where FWC showing medium red tide levels also in Collier County medium red tide traces also showing up in Marco Island along those coastal waters the Department of Health sending out the algae alert yesterday you NOAA know radar imaging showing the red tide causing nutrients to be out there in the water that's right but with the holiday season quickly approaching Marco Island residents and visitors that Fox 4 spoke with today, do not believe that red tide levels will impact tourism. Fox Warriors Brianna Brownlee is live at South Marco Beach, continuing our comprehensive coverage on this emerging issue. Brie. Good evening, guys. Yes, we are here on South Marco Beach, and it has definitely cleared out compared to what it was like earlier today. Earlier today, you saw many people out here just enjoying the sun in the water despite the red tide alert, which is why many people believe that the um, holiday tourism season won't be negatively impacted. Walking into Apollo Condominiums on South Marco Beach. Hi, welcome to Apollo Condominiums. You were greeted with a Christmas tree, setting the tone for the holiday season. We have people who rent every year, and they actually come down to take a picture of the tree. And not only to see the tree, they are here to see the sun, sand, and sparkling water. Despite Collier County's Health Department issuing a red tide alert. People make their own decisions. Joe Renning is a retired police chief who is enjoying his retirement on South Marco Beach. He's been here since the late 80s. You know, from all the problems that are out there, it's good to have a place to get away and just enjoy life a little bit. The condo manager echoed that to me, saying she expects business as usual, because as you can see, the red tide isn't slowing anything down. No, I don't, I don't. I believe we'll be just as busy as we were before. Uh, maybe more busy, because you don't have Fort Myers and the rest of them now, so I expect to have more people. Now, of course, guys, you know, I was out here today and I was out here yesterday and many of the people that I am encountering are either from the north or the Midwest. And all of them were telling me that they'd rather have a day on the beach with red tide opposed to shoveling snow. Live from South Marco Beach, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4. Bree, thank you. Also yesterday, Collier County issued a warning right about the red tide blooms that Bree was just talking about. And if you plan on heading to the beach while those blooms are present, health officials do want you to be careful here because the health department says that people should stay out of the water, especially if they're having any kind of breathing issues. They also say people should keep their pets off of the shore and you should wash your hands and definitely don't go fishing in the area where a bloom is found. As red tide is impacting so many of our beaches and our shorelines here in southwest Florida, we also wanted to look at exactly what the impact might be as our region rebuilds. For weeks, Marco Island has been one of the few places that people can go to the beach and enjoy. As Marco Island avoided most of the severe Ian impacts, still got hit, but not what we've seen in some of the other places. And also until now, red tide. Here is a look from this afternoon at about this at about 2 p.m. today from our Skyfox, our drone. Now, I flew this at South Marco Beach. Even with the red tide alert that was at the orange level, South Marco had plenty of visitors this afternoon, as we saw from Brianna's story. But if you'll notice, not a lot of people were in the water today. We're seeing heavier traffic on the roads all throughout Southwest Florida as people come here to enjoy these warmer days compared with up north. But still plenty of room on the beach at Marco Island on this Thursday. But one thing I did not see that I have seen at Manasota Key, or we have also seen with our crews at Sarasota, didn't see any dead fish there at South Marco today. So at least that's one welcome sign. We also wanted to move north to Bonita Beach and as a note, this beach is closed as the Hurricane Ian impact is so pronounced at Bonita Beach and of course just a few miles north at Fort Myers Beach. But at last check, Bonita Beach should have that yellow level of danger in the red tide testing for this week. But as a note, Bonita Beach access is heavily restricted at this time and take a look though. You can see Doc's Beach House did make it right next to the Bonita Beach access parking lot number one. But you can also see so much rebuilding some of the sand also from the storm having to be pushed 
pushed up, almost like creating a big dune as you're looking south from that area on Bonita. Lots of serious questions here at Bonita Beach on rebuilding or some people who might not even rebuild at all. And Chris, FGCU scientists say red tide could be along our southwest Florida shore for months. As the issue progresses here, Fox 4 is documenting everything you need to know about these harmful blooms right now on fox4now.com. Every report that you have seen, not only tonight, but throughout the week so far, we are kept right here at fox4now.com. You can also keep up to date on our social media, Fox 4 Fort Myers on Facebook and Fox 4 Now on all other platforms.